The substitution method is one of the two methods uh, you can use to solve simultaneous equations. I'm going to demonstrate it here with a set of two simultaneous equations. Uh, first we have 2a plus 4b equals 6. Uh, it's always good to label your simultaneous equations with a number so you can refer to them by the number. Uh, so that's equation 1. Equation 2 is 3a minus 2b equals negative 7. And I'm going to label that with a 2. Now the object of the substitution method is to rearrange one of the equations so all you've got on one side is just a variable. So we want either just an a or just a b. Um, in this case, I'm going to choose to rearrange equation 1 uh, in terms of a. So I'm going to try and get a all by itself on one side of equation 1. first thing I can do is subtract 4b from both sides. So the 4b will disappear from the left hand side and it will be subtracted from the right hand side. So I get 2a equals 6 minus 4b. And now I just want to get a all by itself. Uh, so what I can do is divide by 2 um, and then I get just a equals 3 minus 2b. So we have rearranged equation 1 in terms of a and I'm going to call this new equation equation 3. Now what we can do is we can use this new equation 3 and substitute it back into the other equation we haven't used, which is equation 2. So in equation 2, whenever I see an a, I'm going to write 3 minus 2b, since I know that's what a equals. So it's good to tell your marker what you're doing, so I'm substituting 3 into 2. So I'm going to rewrite equation 2. 3a minus 2b equals minus 7. And now, instead of a, I can substitute in 3 minus 2b. So instead of a, I'm going to write 3 minus 2b. Then I've still got the other minus 2b. And that's going to equal negative 7. Uh, what I can do now is multiply out the brackets. So 3 times 3 is 9. 3 times negative 2b is negative 6b and minus 2b and it's still equal minus 7. So this becomes 9 minus 8b equals minus 7. Now what I can do is I can add 8b to both sides of the equation so it will disappear from the left hand side and it will get added to the right hand side so I get minus 7 plus 8b. Then I can add 7 to both sides of the equation. I get 16 equals just 8b. So if 16 equals 8b, that means b must equal 2. So we now know what b equals. It equals 2. We can use this value of b and substitute it back into equation 3 to find out what a equals. So I'm going to write down again, um, substituting b equals 2 into equation 3 so my marker knows what I'm doing. So, a equals 3 minus 2b. Now instead of b, I can write 2. So a equals 3 minus 2 times 2. a equals 3 minus 4. So, it's fairly simple. a equals negative 1. So just to summarize our answer, for both a and b, we can write that a equals negative 1 and b equals 2. And do a little double line to show it's our answer. Now it's always a good idea to try and check your answers um, if you've got spare time in an exam. So that's what I'm going to do here. The way to do this is to substitute your answers for a and b um, into the two original equations you were given. So first I'm going to try subbing them into equation 1. So if I go up and check equation 1, it's 2a plus 4b equals 6. So instead of a, I'll write negative 1. And instead of b, I'll write 2. So basically we're just checking whether this equation is going to actually become true. So negative 2 plus 8 equals 6, 
negative 2 plus 8 is 6, so it's 6 equals 6. So the equation is correct. So our answers check out with equation 1. Next thing to do is to check them with equation 2. Equation 2 is 3a minus 2b equals minus 7. So we'll write that back down. 3a minus 2b equals minus 7. So once again, instead of a and b, we're going to write the values we worked out, which is a equals negative 1 and b equals 2. So 3 times negative 1 minus 2 times 2 equals minus 7. Once again, we're checking whether this equation is going to be true. So we get negative 3 minus 4 equals minus 7. Negative 3 minus 4 is just minus 7. So we get minus 7 equals minus 7. Notice that I'm using minus or negative. Um, both words mean the same thing, pretty much. So both answers check out in both the original equations, so we've got the right answer. Yay!